Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I'm going to do the next battle in the Alhazard's Aftermath Arrival event, which is appropriately called Evil Sword Echo 4. So this battle is a level 58 battle, and we're just going to jump in and get started. Hmm. Associate Officers Union. <laughs> so, it's called the Associate Officers Union because it's all the supporting characters, right? Liard, uh, Leticia, Ludo, right? Brenda, and Emily. Now, the interesting thing here is they're all cavalry enemies, right? However, it seems like each of these heroes has their own unique effect. For example, Brenda reduces the range attack damage by 100%, right? And increases defense and magic defense by 100% when fighting archers and assassins. Um, Emily does the same for magic attacks. Leticia makes all terrain planes and increases defense and magic defense by 100% when fighting cavalry. And finally, Ludo increases the range of all friendly units from 3 blocks by 1, so they have 2 range, and increases defense and match defense by 100% when fighting flyers. So, I guess it looks like every class is covered, isn't it? Right? You have mages and holy units, you have archers and assassins, you have uh, cavalry, and you also have flyers. And so obviously, Liard decreases the damage all friendly units take from active attacks by 80% and increases defense and match defense by 100% when fighting lancers. So there you go. Every class except for infantry, but infantry are already vulnerable to cavalry in the first place. So, the main character here is clearly Liard because his final glory skill is map wide. Everyone else is within three blocks. So obviously Liard is the priority kill. So once you take him out, the fight should be easy, right? So we're just going to do that, focus on doing that. So I guess what I'm going to do is shift north to crush them. And Leon will probably kill off Ludo the first turn. And then I'll take out Liard the second turn. Before I get started though, I'm just looking at this. I think there's one thing I absolutely have to do. And that is, or one thing that would really help is to equip, I'm just going to retreat first. I'm going to equip a chief's helmet on one of my characters so that I can apply a, a buff that allows Leaden to be able to be healed, right? So that's why I'm bringing Elwyn, because Elwyn I can equip, give him a Chief's Helmet, which will prevent effects that prevent your characters from being healed for one turn. You don't need to have Elwyn. For example, if you have Liana or uh, Rachel with the Gospel skill, giving immunity to all debuffs, that works just as well, if not better. In my case though, it has to be the Chief's Helmet, because I don't have access to the Gospel skill for immunity to all debuffs. So with that said, let's just jump into the fight. So let's skip this chatter, and my clear clearly my goal is to move north the first turn to get ready to take down Liard. Once he's down, everything else will be easy. 
So Leon can just chivalry and attack Ludo to start. Ledin, I'm going to place... I need Ledin in a place where he can get Elwyn's effect, the Chief's Helmet's effect, and uh, as well as being given Sage's hat. So actually, why don't I place them like this? That should work. All right. So I'm bringing... This is seriously overkill in terms of healers, but I'm going to bring Sophia, Liana, Tiaris, Elwyn, Ledin, and Leon. Um, yeah. I could also bring uh, Heaven Sanction Attacker, Lena, right? Have her hit all these enemies with Heaven Sanction to reduce their hit points at the start, but it doesn't really matter, I don't think. Let's just run this party, since it's already set up. So, let's begin. So my very first step is to kill Ludo. So I'm going to have Leon move up, chivalry, and assault Ludo, which takes him down, just like that. Ledin wants to move up three to here, so I'm just going to place everyone else accordingly. Actually, he's probably just going to move two. So. Nonetheless, we'll place Leon there. I need to be careful with Ledin's positioning simply because of all the characters I have to guard with him. If I move him up here, it's a little bit far. And he can't get Sage's hat. So Ledin is going to move up too. And And then everyone else moves up to buff him. So Elwyn first to give him the Chief's Helmet effect. Liana can be next for Sage's hat. Sophia will regenerate Ledin. Tiaris moves up to Healing Light. And Miracle. And Yulia can also move up and I guess apply the Mass Protect. So, Tiaris, Miracle. And Yulia, Mass Protect for the last step. Last skill. So there we go. They don't really hurt me, but I can't really kill them either, annoyingly enough. So now I need to crush Liardo. Or try to. So, it's about shifting around so Leon can attack first. Oh, 
Well, Leden is. Well, let's start with Leon attacking a cavalry general. Because I had to get rid of it to free up some uh, space. I don't want to trigger the southern groups. So let's actually have Elwyn or Leden for now. Move over here and faction buff. Next. Tiaris can attack Blessing. Leon. Vienna, can I gain Leon? Sophia is going to sage his hat Leden and rewind everyone. Yulia has nothing to do, so she can move back. And Leon is going to start attacking Liardo. So let's start with Leon. Do the regular strike. Elwyn is going to frontal assault the Arda. Taking him down, removing that major buff. And finally, Sophia is going to rewind everyone. So, with that buff gone, Leden should be able to crush everything. is indeed one-shotting all the enemies. Now that Lance's map wide buff is gone. Or sorry, Liard's map wide buff. So, let's have Ledin reactivate his Divine Guard, and that's pretty much it. Guard. Regenerate. Let's have Leon crush one of the two remaining ones and I'm going to go for Brenda because she has battle cry that can dispel buffs right so clearly higher priority here assault I mean, 
since I have it, I might as well engage Leon. And have Tierra's miracle everybody here. So Leon can attack Emily. All that's left to do is have Leden counter attack against the last four enemies. again to Alhazard's aftermath items and 30 trinity crystals so yeah I mean not a very difficult fight especially if you use Leaden as your main tank uh, but really Vargas would be great too I mean I don't see this battle being a major issue in clearing thanks for watching everyone I hope you found this information useful and on that note Nitro out <laughs>